guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here to go over a package that I just got. This was from uh, Aroma Concepts. I actually opened these boxes. I think I smelled most of them, but it was like a week ago. So I guess not just got, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, so one of you guys asked me to review like two of these. So I was like, you know, what better time? Um, one of the boxes actually came slightly already open. So I'm gonna go over that one first. Before I do it, let me look up the notes. Also, I do have a, I believe it's a 10% off coupon with Aroma Concepts. There's no kickbacks or anything like that. It just saves you 10%. Um, I'll pop it up here and I'll throw it down below. So the first one I'm gonna go over is gonna be Tasking Caramel Cascade, which if I'm not mistaken, is a dupe of Bianco Latte. As you guys know, I am not a gourmand person. Um, hold on, let me see where the sprayer is. This one hit uh, a little turbulence in, uh, in root. So there's a little bit of a little bit of scratches to the, the bottle. The bottle has like this kind of like rubberized cover. It's a little dinged up at the top, um, but it's a pretty good feel to it. Anyway, let's go ahead and I can definitely smell it. Um, so let's talk about the notes. Okay, super simple breakdown. Top notes of caramel and milk, middle notes of tonka bean and honey, and base of vanilla and white musk. It smells exactly like you would think. <laughs> it's sweet. It kind of has like a lactonic vibe to it. I think this one would be really easy to like if you like that kind of gourmand, creamy, milky scent. I do not think I smelled Bianco Latte. This is just really creamy, really milky. You can get that sweet honey in there, the caramel. I mean, honestly, I think any gourmand lover would love this. Um, and right now it's coming off uh, strip pretty potent. So it does smell really good. This is one that like I would actually wear at night. Sometimes I do reach for gourmands in the evening. They're just really cozy to me. Um, and actually lately I've been wearing gourmands more often. So believe it or not, this might end up in my rotation pretty soon. Um, and I think this is the one that you guys are wanting to know the most about. In my opinion, it actually smells really good. I think I'm gonna spray it on skin just because I feel like it's gonna be different. Obviously, it's gonna be different. Really good sprayer, honestly. Um, super creamy. Super creamy. Lactonic, sweet. There's the musk in there, so I'm kind of feeling like this is gonna definitely dry down a little bit more unique. I didn't think I was gonna pull the musk. It's kind of interesting that I am. Now I feel like I really wanna smell the original, but if you like a nice creamy lactonic scent with a nice sweetness to it, I honestly think you're gonna like this one. The next one I actually have worn on skin. It's, uh, Paris Corner Kisa Delicious. If you guys watch my uh, video, I liked Kisa Pink a lot. Kisa Delicious is definitely different. Again, this one kind of comes off a little bit more Garmand. Let me read the notes and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on skin. Why not at this point? Next one I wanna try is definitely Kisa Blue because uh, I, I wonder if that's gonna be like a, sp a fresher version. Um, okay, so the notes of this are Dark chocolate, orange, whipped cream, coconut, jasmine, vanilla, soft woods, and musk. I think the musk is the last one. That was like a paragraph, so I had to just kind of dissect it. Um, let's just spray it on skin. What, there's no point in playing this game. Um, I feel like the last spray is better, but. Yeah. To me, this is actually not gourmand. I definitely get the jasmine out of this. I mean, or I should say not fully gourmand. I like this one a lot. This is one I've actually worn maybe twice already. When I got it, I just sprayed it on. I actually really like the bottle because it's rose gold. So I was like, I really have to open this. This one's definitely more more sty my, my style. Um, I actually feel like it is sexy. It is kind of seductive, which actually I think those words were used in this paragraph. Um, 
it's a pretty long story, but it, it, uh, in my opinion, it doesn't really come off fully gourmand. It maybe has a few gourmand faucets to it, but this is more of like a sexy date night scent. It has a touch of sunscreeny coconut. It's not super sunscreeny though, but that sunscreeny coconut, a little bit in the backbone. Personally, I like it. I mention it because half of you guys are big on it. Half of you guys are not so big on it. But I like it. The more it dries down, the more I get a little bit of that sunscreeny coconut and I absolutely dig it. In the opening though, in my opinion, the first like minute, a little bit more jasmine. As it dries down, the coconut starts to come out. Yeah, I like it a lot. In my opinion, it's actually a lot better than Kisa Pink, which Kisa Pink is nice, but I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Like if it's, if it's duping anything, but I really like the scent. Um, the other one that you guys wanted me to try was this one, which is uh, Batik, which it looks like it's an Aroma Concepts original because it just has Aroma Concepts on the box. So let's go ahead and try that. Batik means watermelon in Arabic, by the way. Which the box probably is really noticeable. Um, okay. It already smells like watermelon. I haven't even sprayed it yet. Let's do my hand, because I, I already took up the other skin. Clean, okay. It smells really good. Oh yeah, that's a good atomizer too. Oh yeah, this smells like um. <sighs> Definitely watermelon, obviously. It smells like watermelon candy. At first I was like watermelon Jolly Rancher. It's not watermelon Jolly Rancher. It's like the watermelon uh, taffies to me. Yeah, it smells like this watermelon taffy. I forgot what it, exactly it's called, but that's what I'm getting and I like that. But I like watermelon, like... Depending on how this dries down, this one would be like a really easy reach for me in summer. I like any sort of melon note in, in most fragrances, by the way. Any sort of fragrance. I just love how melon notes, uh, notes are incorporated. This is obviously like mostly melon. Yeah, I really like it. Um, someone said online that it smelled like watermelon candy and I pick it up. I don't pick up Jolly Rancher necessarily though. I pick up like this watermelon uh, Laffy Taffy. Probably really a stone's throw away from each other. So that's me being way too picky. Um, the last one I got, I don't think I've heard anything on. It's Paris Corner December Vanilla. So I'm actually really curious. Oh, and the notes are already on here. Top notes of rum, vanilla orchid, jasmine, hard notes of vanilla, sp spicy notes, leather, tonka bean, rose, and creme brulee. Base notes of brown sugar, amber, oud, patchouli sugar, and musk. And now I'm really curious about this because this could really go in multiple different ways. So let's find out which way it actually goes in. Presentation's kind of nice on this. Oh. So I've never heard anything about this one, um, but look at this cool bottle. And it actually has the notes all across the back. This is my favorite presentation out of the four of them. All right, let's see if it smells as good as it looks. The rum is definitely coming out immediately and the patchouli. The darker notes are coming out, um, which makes sense. Oh my goodness. I'm getting the spicy notes. This comes off actually for a vanilla fragrance darker than I expected. Um, I'm gonna take my dog for a walk and this might be a little too dark cause it's pretty sunny outside. I might even have to take it off. The rum is front and center, uh, which ironically, I didn't expect. I thought it was going to be like super gourmand, just like in your face, but which rum is technically gourmand? Yeah, this one doesn't smell like it's going to go linear. It kind of already is like giving me some change and I just sprayed it. Ah, this one is like really complex. First impressions on this is it's going to be a darker fragrance. 
I'm not getting like full oud oud, but I honestly think that there's a little bit of that that's getting ready to come out of the background. But the patchouli and the rum were the first two notes I just immediately smelled. This one is gonna be really complex. I don't think that this one's gonna be super basic. Again, I don't know what it's supposed to be um, a, a clone of, if it even is one. But honestly, that's really nice. The complexity of this for a fragrance that typically is in the $40 range, which actually, let me double check. Oh, there's a whole December line. It's $45. December Vanille and December Rose. These are really nice bottles. Um, the rose one is the same, but red. Um, okay, let me see if it says that it's a clone of anything. I gotta be honest, this room actually smells really good right now. Um, let me, there's a couple reviews they might tell me. Okay, I think I figured it out. They're saying that this is a dupe of Kaoli's Vanilla Royal Sugar Patchouli, which that's a mouthful. Um, <laughs> I did tell you that immediately I got rum and patchouli, so I haven't smelled that, so I'm not going to say anything in that regard, but I'm just saying that that's what it says it is. It definitely smells complex, and it does sweeten up as it starts to dry down. This one seems like it's gonna be uh, punching above its weight because I like the complexity that it's bringing. Which let's go ahead and smell everything again real quick. So the first one we're gonna smell is Cascade, Caramel Cascade. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is creamy, it's lactonic, it's sweet, it's caramel. It just, it really does smell like a nice, milky, um, sweet drink. It smells really good. I'm probably going to end up wearing this. Like, I, I think I might actually be starting to like gourmands because I used to not be able to wear them at all, but like lately I'm kind of into them and I wear them a lot more. Um, I might actually make a video soon about gourmand fragrances that I've been kind of wearing lately. Um, that maybe have surprised me a little bit just because I used to say I didn't like gourmands, but I don't know. I don't, I don't really know that I can say that anymore. Um, the next one we're going to smell is the Kisa Delicious, which I already told you I liked. I think that that's so sexy. It's sweet. It's like, it's seductive. It's got like a floral, but like kind of like a jasmine floral to it. I like it a lot. Um, the way that it's blended is really, really lovely. Um, yeah. It's got that touch of creaminess from the coconut too. The muskiness is there. Uh, I will say I'm not really getting a ton of dark chocolate. I like that one. I like it a lot. I actually think that one deserves a full review, so expect a full review on that one because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be wearing that a lot. But the, ugh, I'm getting watermelon taffy. I like it a lot for summer, um, like when I'm working the grill, when I'm by the pool. Honestly, I'm probably going to burn through this just because it smells like summer. Again, I don't think this is a clone of anything, um, and it looks like it's Aroma Concepts Original. I like it. I'll give you a full review on that too, so I can give you like more in depth on performance and stuff like that, because this is just a first impressions. But first impressions, it's nice. It's got a nice freshness to it. And then the last one, I'll quickly go over. If there, if you want these in any certain order for a full review, just let me know. I obviously really want to do Kisa Delicious first, but I really like Batir too. Yeah, for me, the December vanilla seems pretty complex. Um, it's drying down, it's changing. It's sweet, but actually it's not too sweet. 
yeah. This one is probably the most complex out of all of these. The most basic one, I would definitely say, is the Botir. Again, I'm getting watermelon taffy. Um, and then the most seductive, in my opinion, is Kisa Delicious. Because I like it. I'm getting that nice coconut. I love coconut so much. Um, in my opinion, better than Kisa Pink. In my opinion, the, my favorite out of all four of these. Let me know what you want me to review first down below. As always, remember to like this video if you like to be subscribed to my channel. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop another video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!